G'day, we're here at Springfield Lakes for the DF95 Club Championships and we're going into race number four. We'll follow 344 around, Mike's sailing uh, 344. Uh, he's only recently started sailing the 95s and really enjoying them. But they've got a lot, the difference between those and the 65s, which Mike sails as well, is the 95s has a lot more momentum, uh, similar to the one meters. Uh, they weigh nearly, I think about, around about three kilos of weight, which is um, substantially heavier than the um, 65s, which weigh about 1.2 kilos. So they've got a lot more weight and they've got momentum which um, drives them th through the water. The class is obviously a strict one design class uh, with all boats basically all the same apart from their rigging differences. Uh, Mike in 344 has been initially sailing with a 1130 um, mast rake, uh, but he's moved that out to 11.38 to try and get a li little bit more um, uh, weather helm, which in these, in these conditions helps a little bit more having the mast rake back a little bit further. Gives you a little bit more drive out of the sails and uh, tends to improve your upwind performance. And whilst there's a little bit more weather helm, the advantage in these conditions is because it's relatively, there's no chop, it doesn't affect your upwind performance. Um, he's also running a fairly loose backstay and forestay, which um, tends to let the sails breathe a little bit in these puffier conditions and gives it a little bit more um, um, lift, get up and go. It's running around about 30 um, on his, the depth on his mainsail and his jib with a uh, the main twist is around about 60, and his jib twist is similar measurement, around about 60. Uh, and he's running the jib boom out on the gunnel. And the main booms are out around 40 millimeters. Uh, his performance today, he's he won a number of races today. Um, with the with those sort of conditions, but uh, the real the real issue is picking those lifts and um, uh, keeping your boat moving fast through these variable puffy conditions. Important to look forward and see where the wind is, and when the when you do get those puffs. If they're coming from the side, if you ease your sheets off quickly, you'll get the excel the boat accelerating a little bit more. So Mike tends to, if if he gets a puff from the side, he'll ease the sheet off and um, he'll move the boat will move quickly away before he then pulls it back in to get the height. Once you get your speed up, you can um, pull your sails in and. Um, create that lift but important to have actually have your speed which actually creates the lift off the lured hull anyway. Critical to all of this is to look at your telltales and make sure you've got lots of telltales to um, show that your, uh, your sails are positioned correctly You can see Mike's going up to the top mark now, leading the fleet. 
and um, rounds the last windward mark before returning to the gate down below and up to the final finish line. Nice conditions out here on the lake. A very friendly environment here at Springfield, uh, which is, was really developed as a subdivision uh, by Len Lease oh, some 30 years ago. This precinct continues to, to grow and um, it's become a popular place for um, lots of families to move as the land is relatively cheap, $200,000 for a block, a 600 or 450 square metre block, which you can build quite a large home on for a couple hundred thousand. So, you know, 500 grand land of building and you've got a brand new home. Anyway, Phil, please, please um, subscribe to the channel as we have lots of content and interesting uh, commentary on how to improve your boats. Uh, this is Springfield Lakes, um, race number four. And we're about to sign off with Mike. Finishing in, well, he's still got to go around that bottom boy at the moment, so we'll just wait and see how he pans out. Interesting um, that um, the fleet's carrying the, the puff down the bay now, and um, there's a bit of a hole down the bottom there. So important to stay out of the fleet's way if they're running downwind. 344 is called starboard on them all, and. Um, Number 71 has managed to run into a few boats there. Um, so, um, hard luck, John. That's cost him dearly. Going from second place to, I think he'll end up around about last out of that one. Oh no, maybe not, maybe, maybe fourth or fifth. Anyway, well done, Mike. And look forward to seeing you all out in the water soon. Bye for now.